Welcome back to Treeline Backpacker. This is Michael. Today we're going to look at a backpack from Outdoor Vitals. This is the Shadow Light 45, a one pound, 15 ounce ish ultralight backpack with a full aluminum frame that retails for $200. I've been playing around for this with this one for uh, I guess a couple months at this point and I've been very impressed so I wanted to make a video kind of give you a, a walk around tell you about some of the things I like about this pack I've been really happy with it uh, overall quite impressive so let's start up with the top get a better look at the closure this is a specialty fabric that they use as far as I know only Outdoor Vitals is using this it's a combination of fairly high denier fabrics based on nylon it is ripstop it starts at around 100 denier and goes up to the 200 denier with some combinations of nylon and another type of ripstop fabric paired with that. And it actually makes for a very soft fabric, uh, but it's very tough. This is very rugged material and this does hold up quite well. I've been very impressed with the material quality overall of this. It's really unlike anything that I'm terribly familiar with. So I've been a big fan of it so far. Here do you see the Outdoor Vitals logo. What we have on top here this is a roll top so it does roll and clip in place and then you have another compression clip that comes across the top here to lock that down to keep everything nice and snug keep things from shifting around inside the backpack and that's also going to improve stability on the trail zooming back a little bit you can see that there are two very large external stash pockets uh, these are mesh so very breathable this is a great place to put maybe a wet rain jacket or a pair of wet pants, drying socks, whatever you've got back here. You could also stuff socks, whatever really you need to. But these are absolutely huge. I don't know if you can tell. Like several hand sizes long. I would say that's over a foot long. And it does cover the entire back panel of the bag. And I really love that feature. That's somewhere you can just shove things in that may not have a great place inside the bag, but you need to get to it very quickly it expands to fit just about whatever you want in there uh, mostly softer goods I wouldn't put any hard equipment in there but you can come down here here's the shadow light uh, logo we do have two YKK brand zippers these are tough zippers that uh, very popular in the outdoor world because they do hold up they're able to be cleaned and even replaced if you really have to uh, this is a vertical two-way zipper you can untake both of these to the top and unzip it from the top. You can unzip that from the bottom. You can move it to the middle, uh, but you can access anything in the entirety of the vertical main pouch there. Basically at any time, because you can just slide this around, put them where you want them. Uh, this is actually pretty good at shedding water. So if it is raining, it is not, I wouldn't call this waterproof, but it is very good at keeping water out, especially with that roll top enclosure there you can see that we do have I guess you could call it an ice pick loop but most people use them for trekking poles that's gonna hold um, smaller lightweight items in place you can come up top and see it just holds in place with this nice little cinch do enjoy that I do use trekking poles on occasion so I like to have those accessible coming down on the side we do have a couple of pockets these are stretchy doesn't really look like it but this is a very tough fabric it's going to hold really whatever you want there. You can also cinch this in close. Double feature there. It can go behind your bag or bottle and cinch the internals down really tight. Or you can throw it over maybe a taller water bottle and use that to cinch it in place so it's not going to shift and fall out of your pack, especially if you take a tumble or something. Large pockets on the outside here. A little bit of stretch. Not really. Uh, these are more... You're just going to stuff snacks and things into these. Uh, not super secure, but they don't need to be. They do also have this cinch. So if you do put anything in there and you want it to stay in place, you just cinch that tight. Uh, that will, of course, make it a little harder to get to. But if you're just stuffing a bag of granola or something in there, it's really handy. And this is an absolute unit of a water bottle. I'm not sure you can tell, but this does stay in place with me. Uh, even when I'm shifting around and trying to flip it out of there, does hold in place so I've been quite fond of that of course that's the outside of the pack let's take a look at the bottom 
you can see this is the more uh, rugged, higher denier. I think this is 200 with a combination of their proprietary fabric. And this feels really great as well. Uh, still has a nice fabric feel to it. Um, I know all backpacks are technically fabric, but this feels less like plastic and more like something you could actually wear, despite being incredibly tough. Again, really fond of that material. Now we're gonna flip this around. Hopefully it's not gonna take a tumble. And I'm gonna start talking about really my favorite parts of the bag, and that's all this. We're gonna take a look at the shoulder straps here. Uh, these are thin, of course this is a one pound, technically 14.5 ounce backpack, so it is very lightweight, and they do make, you know, they make some cutbacks to get to that weight, but it's still incredibly comfortable, and I'm gonna talk about why. This is a, I would call this a low density foam, uh, but it is nice and wide, so it's still distributing that weight across your shoulders, across your chest, Come down here, you have you know, your basic clip system, so you're gonna be able to adjust that and lock it into place. You have their neat little logo. I think that's an owl. I'm not really sure, I hadn't looked into that. We do have some extra hip pockets, which is very impressive for, again, a sub two pound backpack. There's just pockets everywhere. And you do have a little key clip in there. I do recommend using those. Clip your car keys into those so you don't lose them on the trail. It does happen all the time. Uh, just about every time I hit a trail, I see a key laying somewhere. Same thing on this side. I left it zipped so you can see what that's going to look like. Again, YKK zippers. Big fan of those. The hip pads are padded just enough. They're going to distribute the weight across your body without being bulky. They're not going to be heavy. This is just one density all the way through that, but it's going to get the job done. Of course, you do have an adjustable hip belt. I believe this will... Hold someone up to 40 inches. They do make some sizing options in the pack. So if that doesn't work for you, look around. They may have something taller. They do have a tall version of this pack. This is the 45. They have a 45 tall that holds the same. And they have a larger capacity bag as well. Which actually brings me to a very important feature of this pack. Which is actually fairly unusual in an ultralight bag. You can't see it yet. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but this is the frame, a full aluminum frame that does go the perimeter of the bag all the way into the hip. And what that's going to do is going to increase stability. It's going to increase comfort. So it's going to hold the pack to the shape that you want it. But the big detail, what's different, most ultralight bags do not extend the frame above the shoulder strap. And I'm always picky about that. If you don't extend the frame above the shoulders, then the weight of the pack sits on the shoulders. But if you take the frame above it and you have these load straps, this is actually shifting the weight off of your shoulder because you don't need the weight here. It's actually transferring into the hip. And that's a very big difference between this and most ultralight packs that I've tested. I don't like weight on my shoulders when I hike. It creates tension, it creates neck strain, it can give you headaches and basically it increases fatigue now this being a full aluminum frame it's also going to be more stable it is a hollow aluminum frame so there's always a slight chance you could damage that it does have a little bit of flex not much it can creak in some instances if you're overpacking. but overall i really like it i've tested a lot of hollow aluminum frames and this is one of my favorites now here we do have a basic but good quality foam back panel and all this is really going to do these ripples are going to give you a little bit of airflow it's not a huge thick pad uh, this does trap a little bit of heat it's not going to be horrible but it does trap a little bit of heat so you are going to sweat there see this is the medium size you can pull this out if you really want to i wouldn't because this is going to do a couple things it's going to add a little more structural stability to the pack so it's going to hold its shape a little better. So if you're stuffing metal equipment, canisters, stoves, um, knives, whatever you've got in there, this foam will help hold its shape. Now if you do overpack it, this is going to bulge out and you're going to feel things in this pack. Ultra light packs, you have to pack ultra white or you will regret it. Uh, that foam does extend all the way into the back. Feels really good against the lumbar. I really like this. It's almost massaging when you walk. Um, big fan of that. The foam, of course, all the way up behind this. That is a little bit of breathability here, 
that does actually increase the drying speed I found just having this extra surface area that mesh over it I don't know if they meant for that to happen but that's very clever it does work if that was their intention so I'm a big fan there but again take a look at the side here that frame extends above the shoulders so the weight doesn't sit here which is bad it transfers from the back into the hips which is exactly where you want it I'm gonna flip this bag around and hopefully this isn't making anybody dizzy. I'm going to unclip this. You've got a single clip here. Got another clip here. And you can see this is going to unroll. This is a uh, DWR treated material. So this is going to shed water and it does so pretty well. Now this is not backpacking gear in here. I've just stuffed it full of lightweight stuff so I could video it easier and get some nice photos. But this is what the frame consists of. It is a hollow aluminum frame like I mentioned. Uh, but it's very strong. It's held up great. I like how it feels. Uh, it feels really good against my back especially when I'm packing. If you're packing under 30 pounds you're going to be really happy with this pack. If you're packing 35 or more you're going to start to feel it against the pads. Just the weight of things shifting around that does include water. Um, but yeah, keep it under 30 and that's going to feel really nice. This is sturdy. Uh, here, I'm going to pull this out. This is a ladder holder, so essentially a sack. So if you put a hydration bladder or water bottles or you know, platypus style soft bottles, whatever you want in there, that's going to keep it in place, going to keep it against the back, which is going to increase your stability. You don't want heavy things moving away from your spine when you're walking. Um, that's the closure. This is a big roll top enclosure. You can overstuff that if it's lightweight material. You do have a little bit of Velcro on the top. So it kind of locks in place, which helps you roll it when you're going to pack it up. Uh, but yeah, so that's the bag. Outdoor Vitals, maybe a company you haven't heard of, but a very good one. Something you definitely want to look into. Uh, this is one of my favorite new packs, especially the ultralight stuff. Uh, big fan of this. If you do have any questions about it, let me know. Uh, I would imagine I'm going to write a review about this and throw it up on the website, treelinebackpacker.com. So expect to see it there as well. But that's all for now. Uh, let me know if I can do anything for you. And as always, thank you for watching. Michael Largent, Treeline Backpacker.